Hi Tom. Hey, nice to see you again. Good to All see right. you. How you All been? Right. Great, thanks. Good. Now, um, I've got a bit of an idea here. You know, it's just like the 30th anniversary of the, the Golden Apple. And, um, you know, Judy and the Foundation have done such a great job. I mean, the, the event that we had on Friday night was like really, really cool and spectacular. You know, in Scotland we don't have anything like that, so it was a nice surprise. And I felt that they've done so much for all our teachers, grants for great ideas, take stock in children, you know, the golden apple itself, you know. I wanted to try and give something back. So I've got this car that you kindly gave us, and I was wondering if we could maybe do something with that instead of me getting it. Sure. I'll tell you what we could do is we could um, take the money that we allocated for the vehicle, uh -huh and turn around and just donate those dollars back to the uh, Education All Foundation right. of Marion County. How's that sound? That sounds fantastic. Good. Let's go. That sounds like a deal. Let's go surprise Judy. All right. That's great. Thanks. Cheers. All right. <laughs> the tables have turned. <laughs> Hi, everybody. How you doing? I'm fine. Okay. I brought my paperwork. <laughs> You probably tell I was a diversion. Okay. Okay. Hi. So I brought Tom along as well because he's got some other paperwork as well. Good to see you, Judy. Uh -oh. <laughs> Good to see you too. And thank you very much, by the way. I was going to work on a thank you note. No, you're fine. <laughs> yeah, so we thought we would uh, surprise you a little yes. bit like you've come and surprised us yes. with the golden apples and all that kind of stuff. So um, I went to see a Hyundai on Monday and we had a little plan and a chat. And we thought is that instead of me taking the car, the foundation can take the money. Really? So Tom has been, and uh, Maria has been so kind to try and organize all this, so. Really? Uh, they've got uh, a present for you. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yeah, so we decided to take the money that we allocated for the car and just donate it to the Public Education Foundation of Marion County. So surprise to you. Well, wow. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right, no problem. And thank you. <laughs> Um, surprise! <laughs> I never get surprised. <laughs> so we thought this could go towards the science center as well. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely. We were hoping for some tears. <laughs> I'm too shocked. <laughs> I'm, I'm too shocked. I, I guess I never get surprised. We surprise other people. <laughs> I know. Unless we thought it would be so nice to kind of turn the tables on you. Yes. Well, and thank do this for you. you. Thank you. And, um, yeah, this is going to go a long way in the science center. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, it's a nice kind of thing because today's the first day that the non-Vanguard kids are going out there. Right, so right. it's a nice, nice coincidence. The science center they're referring to is at the Silver River Museum, an idea that grew from Vanguard's chemistry field trips there a year ago. Well, I'd like the other two schools would have the opportunity to do it because when we've got such a great resource that um, it'd be a shame not for other schools to be able to take advantage of it. We had the plan that uh, while we were uh, in the middle of the Silver Springs project last year, what I found is that the engagement that the students had while doing this project for chemistry and just for being in the local environment was, was great. I, I could take a back seat and just ask questions to try and probe their understanding. So from a learning and teaching point of view, I thought it was really, really high quality. And therefore I thought, well, we've got this resource on our doorstep, but it would be great if other students could get that too. And therefore, I work with the Public Education Foundation to try and create a science centre where all these uh, resources that we were using are available to all students in the county. I hope we can take uh, every single student through this program. This is, you know, this is amazing to give them hands-on, actual, real-life science. You know, a lot of students don't have that opportunity. Um, they don't get to do the environmental field work because of where they live or whatever their condition is. And to be able to take them out here, that, that can get them jazzed up about it. You know, that can get them really excited about it. The project that I did was uh, for mostly chemistry and it was, you know, quite large and quite extensive. And maybe that might be daunting for many people to do, but what we want to try and do is make it accessible to all. And therefore, we're starting with environmental sciences and, you you know, as people develop more experience, then they can um, expand it. And, and that's the same as, as true for my classes. So again, this year, I'll bring more students here uh, because we've raised the uptake of chemistry. And they're going to do <coughs> not only the same project, but they're going to do it in much more depth. And uh, they're going to do a, a broader project too, based on the experience of those ones. And the nice thing is that these students are now in 12th grade, so they can come back and now mentor the 11th grade students to do it too. 
one thing you've got to appreciate is how great it is to be able to come to this place and do real science. And I think that's the important thing, that this is real science. There isn't an answer at the back of the textbook. It does force students to think. It also motivates them because a lot of them want to be out of the school and there's no better place that they could be than, than here. The impact of, on the students has been uh, phenomenal from my perspective because not only is the attainment um, going to the highest level we've ever had, we've got the biggest number of students doing chemistry, um, and also we just have this ab ability to pay back because these students from last year are now going to help uh, subsequent years. On an early release day last fall, some of Hunter's students volunteered to teach other teachers what to do. We've got two, stu two teachers from Marion County Schools and they are learning from uh, my students last year how to do the sampling so that they can write lesson plans for all environmental science teachers to allow them to come this year and uh, start doing projects like what we did. It is an amazing in-service to be able to have the students showing us. That shows us that they've really, they've really learned it, you know, but then they can turn around and teach us and it's, it's like a whole new generation coming up. They're, they're, they did a great job teaching us and to be able to have an in-service like that versus an in-service where you're in a library or you're in you know a certain area and you're just a group of instructors teaching each other it's a whole different ball game um, it, it jazzes me up it gets me excited you know they to have them to be able to do that it's like amazing quote on uh, a famous Scott Alex Ferguson who was manager of Manchester United he would always say he was very very proud of his players so I'm very proud of these students because you know we were I wasn't an expert in doing this kind of study, so we were kind of learning together, and therefore I had to put a lot of the responsibility on them. So to see them not only struggle through that, but succeed in the end, and then to not have been put off it, to actually want to volunteer to come back and do that today, and to not do it just for their own, their own uh, classmates, but to actually do it for other schools, I think is uh, a great testament to those, to those students and their characters. For students planning to attend college, the ACT and SAT tests are vitally important, as one or both will be required for admission to almost all undergraduate programs in the United States. They can also help you earn financial aid for school. Students should take the ACT and or the SAT beginning their junior year in high school and continue to take them to improve your score. Please know that some colleges and universities super score ACT and SAT results, meaning they take an average of your scores. So be sure to take these tests early and often. You may not love the idea of starting spring break by taking a test, but Valentine's Day, February 14th, is the deadline to register for the March 14th SAT. You can visit collegeboard.org or act.org and be sure to speak with your school counselor for more information. Honestly, I thought I wanted to be a sports broadcaster. I, I love sports. I wanted to be on ESPN, um, but I also loved kids. I was a camp counselor my whole life, um, was really involved with youth all through college, and so I've always had a heart for kids. Um, so I always knew I wanted to work with kids, whether it was being a teacher or doing some kind of counseling or something like that. Um, but I knew I wanted to work with kids, and especially middle schoolers. Um, I just love, people can't believe that I love middle school. That's the response I always get, you know, but I do. I love seventh grade especially. Um, so I just, I know this is where I'm supposed to be and I love my job. And I, I always knew I would work with kids in some kind of capacity. The age group she feels most at home with can also be the most challenging for teachers. Middle school is, I love middle school. I don't, you know, elementary school, you know, that's not my thing. I love kids, but middle school is, is right where I'm supposed to be. Middle school, the best way I can describe it, it is a roller coaster. I mean, there are ups and there are downs every single day, and these kids walk in our door, and some days they're, they're having a great day, and other days, it's rough. I mean, you're in the prime of figuring out who you are and the person you want to be, and, you know, things really affect you um, in middle school. But yet, middle school is great because they're still in those formidable years. They're still trying to figure out who they are. And so, you know, if you can take those time, that time to build those relationships with kids and really get to know them on, uh, on their level, and not just on the fact that you're a student and I'm a teacher, you still get to work with them and mold them and shape them and really kind of help them become, you know, get into their, get into their own. A teacher who did that for her was an extra special part of her golden apple surprise. Oh my gosh! When all those people walked in my classroom, I was totally blown away. 
um, to see my parents come in, my husband come in, my seventh grade science teacher that I adore came in as well. She was my teacher actually here at Bellevue Middle. We developed a relationship. She took the time and invested in me um, when I was a seventh grader and we kept in contact all through um, college. Um, when I was going to get my education degree and she is one of the reasons, um, along with a couple other teachers that I had, that made me want to be a teacher. Just the impact that she had on my life and she was constantly encouraging me and telling me to do my best. And um, so when I saw her walk in that door, I was just floored. Boards up. Boards up. Everybody gets a point. It's really been a sweet experience for me to be back at the middle school that I went through that meant, you know, I had a great experience at Bellevue, um, but to be back here where I was rooted at, um, you know, I'm a product of Marion County Public Schools, um, but to be able to be here and to invest in my students like she was investing in me, it's just a sweet um, process that we've just kind of gone through and to be back uh, full circle, you know, back here where I feel like I was, you know, influenced to become a teacher as well. You can get me